Hello everyone. So today we are going to see how can we use auto increment in the MySQL table and how can we pass the data through the JDBC application into the table. So first of all, I am using here MySQL Workbench. So first of all, we will create here create a table and we will give here a name EMP Employee Two and add this name first of all employee id so in this we are uh, going to see i2 increment means we didn't require to pass the employee id in our jdbc application it will automatically add to increment so for that what we have to do is click on primary key not null and auto increment auto increment is must then second column i will take here emp employee name so here we will take employee name varkar45 and here we will take employee add address done these are the three columns we will be let me delete this so these are the three columns we will deal in this so after that click on apply here we can see employee id not null auto increment employee name as a worker and employee address as worker then click on apply then click on finish now the table is created employee 2 now it's time to see how can we pass the data and store in this table through the jdbc application so here i have created a class auto increment example in this First of all, we will see here I have written the query to insert a value in the employee one table. For that, I have created here a query. In this insert into employee one table. This is table's name and the column employee name and employee address. See here we are not passing the employee ID because the employee ID will be automatically incremented because while developing while creating a table we have given there what auto increment so no need to specify here so only two columns we are specifying that is employee name and employee address the employee id will be automatically given by mysql then here values question mark question mark. this is done the next one is we have to create a connection for that in the try with resources i have created a connection connection con equals to driver manager dot get connection now this is jdbc url this is username of mysql and this is password of mysql at the time of downloading what you have taken that as this username and person now this is mysql url jdbc url for mysql jdbc colon mysql colon triple slash new new is a schema name in the mysql workbench employee 2 table we have created in a what schema here we can see the new schema in the new schema i have created employee 2 table here i have to change to employee 2 because we have taken here employee 2 this is done this is a jdbc url jdbc colon mysql colon triple slash this is schema name this is username and this is password this is done connection object then next we are using prepare statement object prepare statement ps equals to con dot prepare statement and we will pass query here we have already written the query insert into apply to employee name and employee address values question mark question now at the place of question mark what we have to insert we will pass so ps dot say string one ram ram will go here then second one ps dot set string to mumbai that will go here so our query will be insert into employee to employee name come employee address ram and mumbai this is done so we will execute this is a non-select query so it will return an integer value we will take here int count if count is not equal to zero that means record is sub inserted otherwise record is not inserted but before 
running this program what you have to do you must check that the jdbc driver is added into your what here we can see in this project jdbc in the build path you must have the mysql connector jar file i have already made the video how to set up jdbc in the eclipse and how to add this jar file you can see that video i will give link of that video in the description if you didn't did that so first step is you have to add this jar file in the class path i have already made video you can see the link of the video in the description without that jar file we can't run this program so jar file is added next query is added then connection object then we are using here prepaste terminal object then set the values set the address employee name and address is set it then execute the query and lastly check the condition now it's time to run the program so right click run as java application here we can see the message is record is inserted let us see go here and refresh this table and here we can see one ram and employee address is mumbai and here we can see we are not giving the employee id values but here we can see employee id is given by mysql because we are using auto increment so this is use of auto increment now next we will see here we will give the sam and here we will give the pune now let us save this and run this program control e of 11 here you can see record is inserted now go to the mysql workbench refresh this and here you can see employee id is coming by sequence 1 to sam pune next again i will take here example john here you can see hyderabad hyd control f11 okay save this program here you can see record is inserted go to the mysql workbench refer this and here you can see 3 john hyderabad so this is a way we can use auto increment in mysql and we can pass data through the jdbc program so in this we are not required to pass the employee id employee id will be auto generated by the mysql so this is now if you want this code i will give link of this code in the description from there you can find this code 